Welcome back to the Story of Liberty. This is your host, John Bona. Dr. Marshall Foster tells a story that near Sherwood Forest of the legendary Robin Hood, a true liberty hero was born. We have talked about William Bradford in the Story of Liberty website. He was born in Austerfield, just north of Scrooby, England in 1588. In this same year, the terrifying Spanish Armada was defeated. In light of revival, it seemed to have begun and shined from many of the homes of England as a result of the unleashing of the Geneva Bible. It was read daily and they had daily devotions. Most of England was still in the depths of a thousand years of ignorance and superstition. The Archbishop of York and an address before the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, he described the spiritual condition of Northern England. He said that other than a few churches in London, people of the land otherwise, especially in the North parts, pine away and perish for want of this saving food, Bible reading and preaching. Many that are there hear not a sermon for seven years, I might say 17 years. In the Elizabethan age, life for the masses was relatively short, without schooling or reading and was a daily struggle beneath the heavy hand of the royal class. Most of the poor lived in rented hovels and unvented chimneys clouded the rooms with smoke. Many of them slept in the same room with their animals so they would not be stolen by the vicious public. As the summer solstice would approach, masses would head for places like Sherwood Forest to be shielded from the sun, but they would throw themselves down in a drunken ale, and almost like ancient pagan rites, they got into every kind of debauchery one could imagine. One Sunday morning in 1602, Two teenage boys, Bradford and a friend, walked 16-mile round trip from Osterfield to Babwar to hear the powerful preaching of Richard Clifton. Clifton, one of the Cambridge hot minds, had been preaching a powerful message of personal relationship with Christ, and he was calling for a new liberty and integrity to cleanse the Church of England. Young William Bradford found himself drawn to the loving God of the Bible his life was changed forever. Bradford became an orphan in his early childhood, as we have talked about, and he was being raised by his uncles. The uncles angrily commanded him to stop believing in this radical message from the Bible. His neighbors and friends ridiculed him as well, and some even lamented him. But this young man, he made a decision in his heart to follow Christ and nothing would change him and no conformity to Sherwood Forest or pursuing other debauchery would turn this man away from Christ. His new faith was more important to him than anything in this life. We will see that the one decision that would change the world is William Bradford given his life to Christ. In 1603, we find William had found a new adopted spiritual family, William Brewster, who had found a beautiful place to meet in his Scrooby Manor in secret by candlelight. They would meet there. They would have prayers, and they would come together in this great drama of the ages and the advancement of liberty we will see from these lives of William Bradford and William Brewster.